Uh, we've, we've had two projects that have been going on uh, this year. Uh, and the first one has been uh, targeted at, at volunteers and coaches within community clubs. Uh, J Johnny Lawless has been do, uh, delivering the mental health and wellbeing awareness course uh, for volunteers and coaches and, and club members within within the community game. The other the other projects we, that we've been delivering is, is the the character development workshops, which is run by Paul Wassell. The character development as, and resilience course has been really really well well attended uh, by and are targeted by under 14s coaches uh, and their community players. Uh, we've done this citywide, but, but also there's been a huge focus on the area of, of, of South Leeds, uh, where the funding has come from. The main objectives for the, the character resilience development uh, workshops have been um, looking at players that might not get a, a professional contract, that, that might, might drop out of the sport. We want to look at retirement in sport, but also uh, look at their mental uh, awareness of situations in day-to-day -day life as they're growing up and becoming an, uh, an adult uh, in, in this busy, busy world that we've got nowadays. We're fortunate that we've been able to run the project um, due to funding from the Hunslet Club Trust, Hunslet Trust and Beadnell Copley in particular, Andrew Beadnell. Um, who heads up the, the, the organisation there. I'd like to say thank you to Dennis Robbins as well at Hunslet Club. Um, it's a fantastic project. We're wanting to roll it out more across the city. Um, the focus has been in South Leeds with some outer clubs. We want to roll it right across the city. Uh, I think it's fantastic in arming young people with the skills they need to move forward in life. As someone who's put money into it, it's the best thing I've ever spent money on. When these kids come into one of these sessions, and they're going to be there for an hour and a half, two hours, they come in with that typical teenager attitude. By the time they walk out, they have got so much out of it. And what has been especially pleasing is I've heard coaches actually say to me at the end of it, God, I felt that myself. Uh, as someone uh, who's had a mental health issue in my own family, I know how important it is to talk about it. The worst thing is to bottle it up. One of the main reasons I got involved with the foundation was through Stevie Ward. As we all know, Stevie has had his issues. But by talking about it, he's brought so much out into the public. And personally, I have a lot to thank him for because that's why I got involved. Mate, I'm massively, massively interested to come and be a part of it, be an ambassador. And, um, I've had certain challenges in my life, mate, that, that have really, it's really made me interested in this sort of stuff. Uh, and to try and get the lads to kind of learn from adversity and, and have that attitude towards adversity because there's so many things now where it paints a glossy picture, Instagram, social media, it paints a glossy picture where it looks really easy, life looks easy. and. The boys that need to know it's tough and that they can learn from tough challenges and, and get better in progress. So man, I, I was really, really excited to, to get down here and, and link it to mental health, but also the good side of mental health, the side that, that you can progress and, and kind of train and, 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 and kind of uh, improve like you would physical health. Mate, rugby league has been like the vehicle that I've lived my life, um, been able to live to my values and um, to my beliefs, but also it's, it's a two-way thing because I've grown up with rugby league, so it's, it's given me so much. It's important to, to let the boys know that they've got to enjoy it, take the shackles off. That's, that's the biggest thing for an under-13 group. Enjoy it, express yourself, be creative, and um, they, they won't go far wrong. So we've just done a, a session, a character development session with the under-13s here. Uh, focused on developing resilience, both uh, an on-pitch focus and off-pitch focus um, and looking to make that as relevant to their, their whole life, not just what they're doing as a rugby player but their life at school, life at home um, and how they can respond positively to challenges. One thing I'd like to think that comes out of the sessions that I'm delivering to the, the clubs is that it gives um, permission and it gives, gives the boys that understanding that it's okay to 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 struggle. It's okay to um, admit that it's hard, it's tough, that I'm finding things difficult. And I would like to think that the sessions that I'm doing with them here 
uh, are really encouraging them to be open and honest with themselves about the challenges that they're facing. And I hope that gives a really strong foundation to build on in, in other work that coaches and people are doing with, with these boys in the long term. We've got to keep doing this and we've got to keep rolling. If we can get some off on and keep rolling it on because we can see the benefits already for the coaches, members, also uh, adults within the clubs for the mental health awareness, but also for the kids in the resilience courses as well. So let's keep it going.